What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Up Ladder with this Life Orb Inteleon and Flame Orb Conklador team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. By the time I am recording this, May 17th, this video will go out on May 18th, but on May 17th, it is now one year since I started YouTube. So woo! Woohoo! Let's get it, yo! One year anniversary. Cannot thank you guys for all the support we have been crushing the channel. And I cannot wait to see where it will be in the next year. But this team right here, like I said, it's Flame Orb, Conquador, and Life Orb Italian. This Conquador has Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Rock Slide, and Detect. Normal moveset for him, but he's going to be an absolute beast once those guts trigger. We got that Grim Snarl over here, and we're going to be able to control most of the game with the Grim Snarl, considering we can drop special attack with the fake tears. We have T Wave to slow down the opposing Pokemon and paralyze them. Sucker Punch for first turn priority and taunt so Pokemon can't get off like status moves and all that good stuff. We got Super Luck Toe Kiss. You guys already know about that. Air Slash, Dash, and Gleam Protect and Follow Me. We got Rotom with that Citrus Berry, T-Bolt, Leaf Storm, will o -Wisp, and Allies, which I really like this moveset on this Rotom considering we can do big damage with Stab T-Bolt or Stab Leaf Storm and we control the match with that will o -Wisp to actually take down some physical attackers and we can ally switch to actually dodge some moves. Then we got Chandelure down here and Chandelure rocks out considering it has Imprison and Trick Room, so we can kind of just cancel out Trick Room right then and there, so we won't even have to worry about it in in these battles. And then in the final spot, we got our main attacker. You guys already know we got Life Orb and Talion. This thing's an absolute beast. It has Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, Air Slash to actually give us max air stream when we Dynamax to boost our speed and protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle on its way, and we're going up against another Inteleon, and this dude has Noivern as well, so that's pretty dope. We're seeing some Pokemon that we normally don't see on the rank ladder, like Noivern. He also has Extral, Ndidi, Arcanine, and Gengar in that bottom corner. I'm kind of scared of that Gengar. Could be G-Max Gengar. A little bit scared of that, but who am I going to lead? I'm thinking uh, Rotom could be a solid first lead with Inteleon. That can actually pose a threat to his Inteleon or his Noivern if he wants to roll Tailwind, which I think that's what that Noivern's for, is to roll Tailwind, and then we can just... uh. Maybe taunt that and then roll out. Or, yeah, yo, let's go Grimstar. Let's go Grimstar right in the front with Inteleon. We're definitely bringing Conquador in the back end. And then in the final spot, it's either Togekiss or Rotom. Who's going to be able to do more work? I feel like Togekiss can do more work all around as it has that super luck with the crits. has air slashes for flinch. And then we have the, uh, the Dazzle Gleam for double hits. Yeah, because Rotom just goes down hard to that Arcanine. And nothing... He, he's not, like, super effective against anything besides that Inteleon. So I think, uh... I think Tokus is coming in that final spot, yo. Let's get it. Let's rock out here. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in that link in the description below. Scroll down a little bit. You're going to see that like button before you hit that description. So click that click that like button real quick. Just click that like button for me. Helps grow the channel. But then when you keep scrolling down, you're going to be able to see link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. My Twitch link. Go ahead there. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live, dude. I do awesome content over there. And we stream a lot. So if you want to catch more content from me, that is where you go. But first battle coming out. Let's see. Let's see who he's going to lead. I think he's, we're going to go Inteleon for Inteleon. Yes, sir. Double Inteleon. And he goes uh, Mold Breaker Extra. Mold Breaker Extra, if I had to guess. There's no way it's Sandstream. He has really no way it's set in the Sandstream. Let's see. The same Mold Breaker? Yes. Okay. This thing is Mold Breaker. He breaks some mold. Okay, so we're going to T-Wave this Inteleon right here. I'm going to T-Wave it. I'm going to say, yo, dude, get out of my face. Or do I fake tear it? Now nah, I'm going to just T-Wave it right off the rip. And I'm going to Dynamax. And I am going to... Do I Geyser? I'm going to actually Airstream. I'm going to airstream to start uh, being able to get boost. Or do I get the water? Hmm. I'm going to be able to outspeed next turn. So I'm going to just actually... Uh, I'm going to max geyser over here. Onto this extra drill. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll T-wave onto this Inteleon. I'm going to withdraw the extra That's totally fine. Did he have Gastrodon? He's going to go Noivern. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. I can actually uh, T-wave that next turn. So we're going to be able to get off a nice little max guys over there. Set the rain for ourselves. We know we outspeed if he is Dynamaxing, but he actually might not Dynamax. He might not, which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird if he doesn't. But smart play to him to actually withdraw that extra get out of there. But we're going to get be able to get off a T-Wave over on his Italian. So that's going to be huge. going to be able to slow it down for the rest of the match and potentially uh, knock off some turns from him. Is he going to Dynamax as well? We're going to see a double Dynamax. Tell me on battle to get a start. Yo, let's go. Yo, I want this win. I want this win. But I think he's going to go, uh, he's either going to go Airstream up against me, or a, uh, what's it called? Airstream would be tough. Airstream would be nice. If he's rocking Airstream, but I think he's going to go for that, uh, the guys who are on my, uh, Grimstone, which will probably take it out in the rain. But as long as we get this T-Wave off, we should be, uh, cooking pretty well. The T-Wave comes through. Yoink! 
There you go. Set that. Yo, you slow, little boy. Hopefully, he's not able to move. That would be great for us. That would be great for us. And the Max Couch is going to fly across around this Snowy How much damage are we going to do? We're going to be able to do some big old damage? Nah, not very effective. Eee. Eee. Ah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. We get the rain set it. Come on. Show me this thing's paralyzed. Show it to me. This, this could be beautiful. Do it. Do him dirty. Nope. Max Darkness comes out here. Things rocking Dark Pulse. He's going to go after my Inteleon. My Inteleon will actually eat up fine. We have the speed advantage all day. Um, I think Grimstorm can kind of come in here and finish off that uh, Noivern. Maybe with a Sucker Punch. Do so I roll in with a Sucker Punch and try to take out that Noivern? But I'm thinking that Noivern is just here to set up that Tailwind and help out the team. So I'm thinking of just taunting this thing. And getting after that Inteleon. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of just taunting this thing. Because I, I believe he's going to go for that Tailwind. And do I go uh... I go airstream here over on Italian. Or, 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 hold up. We can say, Noivern, I'm not too worried about you. We can fake tears over on Italian. Maybe this thing goes for a protect, but I, I really do think it's going for a tailwind, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Noivern protect, yo. Last minute change. Jeans coming up big. Jeans is coming up big. Oh my lord, yo. Jeans is coming up big. Last minute change. I was like, maybe he'll protect, and we change it last second, and we switch the fake tears max airstream. Which is so big for us. Let's get it. And we just dump on that Inteleon. Yo, let's go. We get that speed boost. We got Inteleon dead. His Dynamax turns are gone. And now we can co control this match. I can pick out the Noivern next turn. And I can actually uh, paralyze the next Pokemon that comes in. Okay, so he has Extra Drill. Who do we have in the back end for Extra Drill? That can deal with Extra Drill. Who did we bring? Wait, wait. I know we brought Togekiss. Oh, we got Conqueror. Yo, Conqueror's going to be able to hit off those big mock punches. He's going to be chilling with that first turn priority. And my what's called outspeeds all day. He goes Arcanine. Arcanine's probably going to protect. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Arcanine's probably going to protect. Or he might go for a wild charge. So I'm just going to T-Wave up on the Arcanine. And I'm going to take out the... Uh, and I'm going to take out the Noivern. I'm going to say, see you later, Noivern. And I... Do I just boost his speed again? Yeah, I'm just going to boost his speed once again. Yeah, ch chances are Arcanine either snarls or protects, but if we get a paralyze on this thing, that could be pretty big. It'd be pretty big. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, dude, this dude's too easy. We read him too easy, man. You really think I'm going for that Max Geyser over there? Bro, not happening. Not happening. We'll be able to take out that Noivern. This guy gets no turns once again, basically. He gets no damage. You guys know what I'm talking about. He gets no like, status condition or damage. And we're rolling out strong here. We're rolling out strong here. I definitely have speed advantage all day. We're plus two. My Dynamax turns are over. I can snipe shot this extra drill. Who might just go into a protect? Not even gonna lie. So I'm just gonna snipe shot on the Arcanine, knowing that he can't go into a protect. And then I just um hmm. And do I fake tier the no, there's no point of fake tier in the extra drill. I think I'm just gonna go for a sucker punch on the extra drill. Because I believe this thing's sashed. I believe the extra drill is probably sashed. If he's gonna lead it like that, and usually these mole breaker ones are sashed like that. Or it's Life Orb. It's either Sash or Life Orb, but I don't think it's Life Orb. We're just going to go for a Sucker Punch on it in case it hits. And then a Slave Shot should just be able to clean up this Act or Arcanine easily. In the rain, it's gone. Battle was canceled. Yo, GG. Match number one in the bag. That was so easy. We just ran that and read this guy hard. Not going to lie. We're going up against a Cloister, and I've been always scared of facing Cloisters. They are just annoying with the Shell Smash, and then they roll out with, like, Icicle Spear, and they have that Skill Link, and it just hits, like, five times every single time, and it just dominates. So I'm terrified right now. I do not know what to do. But we're going to win this one for you guys. We got this one. I'm going to go, uh, probably Grimstorm for the lead, start taking control. Belly Jump Snorlax is looking a little scary. Belly Jump Snorlax is looking a little scary. Not even going to lie here. So, uh, do I go Con- I'm not, I might lead Conqueror. Not even going to lie. Because if he leads that Belly Jump Snorlax, we can kind of run out and control, like, easily. But I'm going to go definitely Grimmsnarl. I can T-Wave. Or do I not go Grimmsnarl this game? Actually, I can just taunt. I can just taunt him. Yeah, so Grimmsnarl and Inteleon. And we can just taunt the Belly Jump user. Oh, that's simple. That is simple. We go there, there. We go Conkador, but in the back end this time, we go Rotom. He has no Trick Room, right? Yeah, he has no Trick Room, so Chandelure is not even needed. That is basically why we're going to bring in Chandelure. Is if you go up against a Trick Room team with this team, you just imprison the Trick Room, and it's, it's done. You're done. You kind of won that one. You'll be able to outspeed the rest of the match and roll out with that Inteleon pretty strong. But second battle here, we absolutely dominate that last battle. Just read and protect. The guy was, uh, it was pretty easy just to read the protect. So I was like, okay, okay the Arcanine's obviously going to protect. <laughs> and then I was like, all right. The, the Noivern one we called very, very well. We were just like, all right, maybe he'll protect and all that. Maybe, I don't know, what are we going to do? But... We call that one pretty well. But it goes into Snorlax. I'm definitely going to taunt this thing. And then I think I just Dynamax into a Geyser over onto the Snarl Barrel. Over into the Snarl Barrel. But definitely taunt this big dog. What you want? 
Let's get the geysers rolling into Grimmy Poo. Um, I wonder what Grimstar is going to do. I wonder what Grimstar is going to do. It could be a G-Max Grimstar. But I seriously think, think he's going to uh, probably screen up and go for a belly jump. And then as long as we get off this taunt, we should be chilling. We should be chilling. Then we'll be able to get the rain set up and we'll be going to be chilling. Dude, Inteleon's so good. He is the best starter in this game. Well, not like I'm, you guys know what I'm saying. Out of the three. He is the strongest one for rank battles. Hands down. Taunt comes out here. And it doesn't affect Grimstarl. Oh, no. He's trying to go after me. I was going to say, I did not go after Grimstarl. <laughs> he tries taunting me. We're able to taunt this Snorlax, which is beautiful. I was going to say, I was like, I did not taunt the Grimstarl. He tried taunting me. Did not work. We get it off on that, uh, what's it called? We get it off on the, the Snorlax. So hopefully he's going for the belly jump and we kind of just waste a turn. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. He cannot curse. Oh, he's going for a curse. Okay, uh, I think I just go for a sucker punch right here. And if he hits, he hits. We take him out. And then we just geyser onto the side right here. This dude's going for a curse. Get out of my face. Hopefully this Grimstarl goes for a hit move. If not, it's totally fine. I feel like uh, we should be able to take out the Snorlax turn one. We're going for that sucker punch. We're going for that sucker punch on you, Grimstarl. What you want, fool? I was so confused at first. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yo, is there sucker punch connecting? Nope, it's going to fail. It's going to fail. He sets up a nice little light screen here. We're going to be able to get off a strong little max geyser here. It's the only thing that stinks is uh, we have Sucker Punch on this, and this is only good, like, it only works if they're attacking. We're going to get off this at Geyser. Boop. Do a decent amount of damage. And this thing's Barry's probably going to trigger. It does not. Iron Head's going to... Oh, uh, no, we have a Babiri Barry. I was going to say, it's going to miss because I saw the lag. But we do have a Babiri Barry, so we're going to be able to eat up just fine. Look at that. Mmm, that was tasty little snack there. We, we eat that up regardless. Okay, he's probably going to try to set up a Reflect. Mmm. I'm just going to go for another Sucker Punch. But you know what? He's going to set up a... There's no point. He's going to set up a screen or something. So I'm going to double into this... Uh, I'm going to double into this... Uh, what's it called? This Snorlax. So he goes for that Reflect. Obviously. Obviously. What's the Snorlax doing? Do we get off the Sucker Punch? We should. Yep, we do get off the Sucker Punch. You do a little bit of damage. And then this Geyser should be able to clean off this... Uh, this Snorlax. Good thing I went into that. Good thing I went into that snorlax too. He's gone. Get him out of here. Okay, so Grimstar is basically gone. Our Dynamax turns are over. Jeez, that Snorlax is so bulky. But thank God he didn't get off that curse or a belly drum or something like that. We had the taunt early on. I honestly didn't even have to Dynamax this uh, Inteleon. Maybe I should have saved it for later, but we're fine. We're fine. I have my ally switch Rotom in the back end. Let's see who he goes into. This is probably it. Yeah, this is going to be his Dynamax mod of choice. This is going to be this thing, and I'm going to paralyze it, and then I'm going to drop a nice big old Ice Beam into it. They don't have any speed advantages, so definitely fake tears this. Get that rolling. Oh, no, not fake tears. Not fake tears. We want to slow it down because I don't want him just to dump on my Italian on turn one. We're going to T-Wave up on you, and then I'm just going to drop a big old Ice Beam onto him. He might be weak this policy, this, so this, this is a little tough. Oh, he does not Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. Ooh-wee. Hold the phone. Come on, Italian. You should be able to outspeed now. This thing's Lumberry. Bro, no. This thing's Lumberry, and he goes for a Phantom Force. God dang it, man. Swag. And what's this uh, Grimstar? This Grimstar is going for a foul play. I can't protect. He's going to be able to take out my Italian here. And he gets a crit. So Sucker Punch should be able to come out here and finish off this. Uh... Well, we have to double into this thing, right? No. I mean, if he goes into my Grimstar, that would be nice. And we get off a nice little Ice Beam here. Let's see what happens. Sucker Punch comes through. And this time it connects. Can we KO here? Oh my god, not even close. Not even close, Phantom Force comes in and KOs our big old Inteleon. Dang, dude, that Sucker Punch did doo-doo damage. It did some doo-doo damage. And Foul Play comes over here. And now we're, 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 we're sitting fine. I mean, he has a Dynamax. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. That's what I'm saying. But we still have Rotom. Rotom's got to come out here and probably go for that Will-O-Wisp. And I'm going to definitely paralyze. Do I paralyze or do I burn that thing? Hmm. I say I paralyzed. I gotta slow this thing down. I gotta slow this thing down. And I'm just gonna go for a T bolt and be able to take out this uh, Grimstar here. Because I can see this thing potentially going for another Phantom Force or maybe Dynamax. It. Or maybe. I, I think he's gonna Dynamax here. I think he's ready to Dynamax. He's got my Italian out the way. He has nothing to worry about with the Ice Beams and all that. I think it's safe to say he's going to Dynamax. But then that's just a tough call. Do I slow it down? Oh, he does not Dynamax. He's gonna go into a taunt on me. Good thing I am attacking already, you little boy. Good thing I am attacking already. Grimstar goes for T-Wave, and we miss. Whack sauce. 
So whack. Steel Wing comes in. We, we're able to eat up. That's totally fine. And t is going to come in here and clean up this Grimmy Poo. Now it comes down to a 2v2 situation. I guess this next mod is going to be his Dynamax mod of choice. Like, he hasn't sent it yet. He hasn't sent it yet. And I still have my, my uh, Mach Punch going in the back end. And it's Togekiss. It is Togito. I think this is going to be Dynamax mod of choice. Um, I got a TV. Actually, let's go. I mean, I'm taunted. I'm taunted, so. There we go here. Definitely. But ally switch. Now, he's probably just going to go for, like, a Dazzle Beam. Actually, we're going to go here. No, 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 no. We're going to keep this. We are taunted. I just got to go into a T-Bolt. I'm hoping this thing's not weeds policy. I'm hoping it's maybe scope lens. And here comes the Dynamax. Yeah. Oh, we're sitting so tough. This is going to be such a pain. We need to get one of these guys out the way as soon as possible. Oh, no. Not the super luck toga kicks. No, please. No, please leave me alone. <laughs> Don't get a crit on me. Oh, he's going to dump on me for sure. Unless he misses, T-Wave comes out. If we finally connect. Hopefully this thing uh, is paralyzed for the turn. That can be huge for us. Let's see what you got, dude. Let's see what you got. Max Flare. Ooh, this thing is flaring, flaring. Ooh, it's going to get a crit. Just dump on me. We do eat. Berries coming out, baby. He sets the drought. Berries are coming out. I'm going to T-Wave up on the Tokus next, next turn as well. Berries are coming out. Show me that my uh, my Rotom outspeeds that Dragapult now. And that Rotom outspeeds Dragon Ball. He does. Yoink. Do a little bit of damage over there. Is this thing policy? This thing's bulky right now. Bro, it's policy. So, only way we're going to win this one is if Grimstar Grim gets off a nice big paralyze and is able to eat up. Steel Wing comes in. <gasps> Grimstar, boy, yo, my boy. Let's get it. T Wave definitely popping off. T Wave over here. But Ally Switch. I can't. I'm taunted. Okay. Hmm. We might as well keep going after his toe kiss. Might as well keep going for a Thunder Wave. Connects. Let's go. I ain't playing around, son. <laughs> what you want? You get a T-Ball. Yoink. Come on. Show me these things cannot move. Give me something good. Give me something good. Dragon Darts comes out. I think, uh, what's called is going to be able to eat. One of them's going to be able to eat up. Rotom eats fine. Actually, they both might be able to. Oh, it doubles in the Rotom. I thought it goes one and one. I thought it goes one and one. I'm very confused. I'm very confused, but we come down to just Conqueror. Ooh, ah. Not looking good for battle number two. Not looking good. I feel like we shouldn't have Dynamax my, uh, my Inteleon. I feel like we had the whole control. We had the situation controlled. And there was really no need to Dynamax. Like, the Grimstar wasn't doing any, anything good. We kept the, the Snorax from Belly Drumming and all that. So there was really no need for us to Dynamax like that. But we ended up doing that. And that kind of cost us. Because I could add my Dynamax late in the game. Use it maybe on my Conqueror or somebody else. Or save Inteleon for Dynamax later. And it would have been worked wonders on these things. Would have just dumped on both these guys with the max hail hailstorm. But we're gonna go forward to rock side. Uh, hopefully Conqueror. Now nah, I don't think Conqueror is gonna be able to outspeed. It's gonna be able to outspeed the Tokus, not the Dragon Bolt. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, this thing's gonna fly. Told you. Oof. I'm gonna detect next turn. I'm gonna detect next turn. Let's see what happens here. Airstream. Oh, Airstream's just taking us out. This Tokus still out just outspeeds us. And yo, GG to this guy. He takes the victory. We are now 1-1 one one with this team. We're going to hop into our third and final battle for this video and try to get ourselves a winning record. I think we can. I think we're going to rock out in the next battle. Third and final battle coming at you guys. He has a giant Pikachu team. We've seen this a bunch of different times. And he has Sandstorm mixed up into that. So I think I'm going to go, uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go with, uh, Rotom. I think I'm going to go with Rotom as the lead. I can burn Pokemon and we can kind of chill there if he goes in with physical attackers. Um, Pikachu's, what am I going to do against that Pikachu? The Pikachu's looking a little scary, and we know that. That Pikachu is looking pretty scary here. I'm going to go, uh, Rotom in the front spot, for sure. Uh, do I go Grimmsnarl as well? I can eventually taunt, I can fake gears, I can do all this different thing, so. Grimmsnarl, I think I go Conqueror and Talion again. I think I do that. I'm kind of scared of that Pikachu, not even going to lie. The Pikachu is terrifying. The Pikachu is just so scary right now. I, I can't really, I don't know what to do. If he brings that Pikachu, that's going to be able to run my team, and we're going to be struggling for this third and final battle. Like how this dude's name's Ash, <laughs> and he has Pikachu. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's me, Ash. Literally, the one uh, who uh, the game's based off of. It's me. <laughs> but yeah, that Pikachu is a big threat to us. Big, big threat. We have no we have no ground moves to kind of just like dump on it, turn one. So it's like, it's like, ah! 
But, I mean, if you go Sandstorm, still scary too. Like, Sandstorm's such a good weather team. Especially just the Exo and Titar combo is just so strong. Go Shannon and Pikachu. Fair, fair, fair. He's gonna Dynamax at Pika Peak. He's gonna Dynamax at Peak Peak. And I'm going to. How am I gonna play this one? Hmm. How am I going to play this one? The Leaf Storm into the Pikachu. I just think it's a little light, light. It's a little light works. Good job, Sucker Punch. But I'm just gonna T Wave over on the Chandelure. Actually, Prankster doesn't work. Is he dark? Hold the phone. Is he dark type? Or is he Ghost and Fire? I think he's Ghost and Fire, right? Yeah. So Prankster should be able to work cleanly on this thing. I'm, I'm dropping a Leaf Storm turn one. I'm dropping Leaf Storm. I'm coming at you, dude. I'm coming at you, and I'm gonna drop a T Wave just to slow down the Chandelure. Because I know it won't work on that Pikachu at all. Pikachu goes for. Oh, he goes for a fake out. Oh, okay. Okay. Leaf Storm might be able to pick up this KO. Heat Wave comes in. Um, eat up, buddy. Go time, eat up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Citrus Berry pops. Here we go. We're chilling here. And I can T Wave next turn, and we'll be. Oh, my God. We're golden. We're golden. Let's go. Leaf Storm. Connect. Take out this Pikachu. Do some work on it. Yeet. Pikachu, get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. I'm going to paralyze that thing, and I'm going to be able to potentially burn the next Pokemon that comes in here. See what you got, fool. Let's see what you got. Because if I can slow down this Chandelure, it's not going to be able to get off another heat wave. Dude, I love Chandelure's design. Like, his face and all that is awesome. Oh, my God. We got to burn this extra. We got to burn him. We got time to go home. Hopefully, we can pull this off. We got to definitely slow down the Chandelure. I wonder if the extra drill is going for a Swords Dance. Nope, straight Dynamax. And straight Dynamax. And probably up against my Grimmsnarl. Probably going for my Grimmsnarl. I hope so. Because I, I hope he's going to think that the Heat Wave just takes me out. But we're going to be able to outspeed Chandelure. So hopefully the extra drill does go after like my Chandelure or something. But not my Chandelure, my Grimmsnarl. And we can get off this burn on it. Because that could be like a big move for us. That could be big plays for us. Heat Wave pops. Does it connect? It does. Slowing down the Chandelure. Get out of here, kid. Get out of here. We get the Paralyze. x is probably going to go for a Seal Spike. He does. But Beery Berry might be able to let us eat it up. But we just have to connect on this burn. And that's going to be huge. It's going to be huge if we connect on the burn. Eat this up, Grimmsnarl. Does not eat up, but it's all good. All I wanted was my uh, Rotom to get a chance to get this burn off. We need him to get off this burn. That'd be so big. That'd be so big. He's boosting his defense. We have a special attacker in the back end. Oh, we're cooking. We're cooking. Let's see what happens here. Get off this burn, buddy. Get it. Yes! Let's go! Let's get it. Big burn on this thing. Gonna drop its physical attack. And I'm gonna be able to get off the... What's it called? Well, Heat Wave's gonna come through and KO us. We're gonna have to go into Conqueror and... Uh, what's it called? Conqueror and Inteleon, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with. We'll Dynamax that Inteleon. And uh, who do I throw it up against? Do I throw it up against that Chandelure? Hmm. I mean, we have, we're super effective all around. We're super effective all around. So I got a geyser for sure. Set that rain. Who do I take out? Like, that thing's definitely Sash, the Chandelure. I mean, I could take out Exodrill. But then he starts to get Sand Rush, and then... Eh. Hmm. Let's see. No, I do not want to Dynamax you. I want to go for a Jane Punch. Probably over on you. And I'm going to Geyser... I don't know what's going on. On the Chandel. On the Chandel pop. What you want, fool? I'm telling you, Chandel's got to be... What's it called? Chandel's got to be Sash. So let's just see what happens with we're looking it's looking not bad it's looking not bad for these final two considering we have a paralyzed and a burn that's gonna play that's gonna play a huge role in this third match you know third match coming good yo it's a good money it's a good one it's gonna come down to the wire it's coming down to the wire baby make a move buddy make a move you don't want the smoke you don't want the smoke all right let's see what happens here Inteleon, um probably faster than that extra drill without the sandstorm so we should be able to get off the shot on the channel, no problem. Jane Punch is going to roll through. I'm hoping the extra goes after my uh, Conqueror. My Conqueror eats, gets a Drain Punch, and goes back up on HP. That's it comes through. I'm guessing we're triggering Sash, but if no Sash, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Let's see. But no Sash. Okay. All right, yo, I'm totally fine with that. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. No sat, no Sash on the Chandelure. I wonder who it was on if you had a Sash on your team. And Dream Punch is going to be able to rock out after this thing drops a Quake or a Rock Ball. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a Rock Ball. Which, uh, he's going to be able to start out speeding. And my Conqueror show... Oh, no. goes after my Inteleon. Inteleon eats up beautifully. Like, so well. It triggers the Sandstorm on its own. I'm thinking he probably shouldn't have done that. 
in all honesty, if he has T-Tar in the back end. But that's just me. That is just me. We get off that nice drain punch. Inteleon takes some damage. Inteleon uh, should be able to eat up a shot. And should I'm thinking we should be able to take out this extra drone. Especially with our uh, our burn. Especially with our burn. And I should be able to go off with the Max Geyser onto the T-Tar if he does send it out. No, it is Gyarados. It is Gyarados. So I am actually going to detect here. He's going to intimidate drop me, which is fine. Uh, do I detect or do I mock punch? I think I detect. I think I detect here for sure. And I protect myself. And I go into the airstream or the hailstorm. I mean, I got to change up the weather. I'm thinking about drop, just dropping a hailstorm over on the Gyarados. Let's just change up the weather a little bit. And this thing does guard. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love to see it. We're going to detect on here because I think this thing's going for like an air move or something. Like, what's he going for? Maybe a waterfall up against it. We're going to be able to change up the weather and drop this hailstorm over on this thing. Get out my face. I told you, like, I'm not going after that extra draw. I'm not too worried about it as I have that burn on it. It's so big and it's so clutch. Burns are so nice. No more sandstorm. I'm surprised he did not bring the T-Tar. Surprised he brought the Gyarados over the T-Tar. He eats his little citrus berry, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's got to be citrus berry. Yep, citrus berry Gyarados. Power Whip comes out. And, oh, we just avoided it. I, I thought it was going into my confidence. Oh, we just avoided it. That's beautiful. We should be able to wrap this one up. A Mach Punch should be able to come through. And a, um, what is it, an Air Slash might be able to KO this one? But still. But still. We outspeed both. We should be chilling here. And that, and that extra cannot protect anymore. Am I out of Dynamax turns? What I use so far? Airstream? No, I did not use an Airstream. Hey, we have one more turn, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. All right, Mach Punch. We'll be able to take out this extra drill with that Guts triggered. And then, uh... I think just another hailstorm. Oh wait, wait, which one this morning? 130, 130? Yeah, okay. Which guy after Scarab? This guy's probably gonna cancel after. Yep. He just cancels it. GG yo, I told you. I told you we were gonna come up clutch in that third and final battle. Let's get it. We go two and one with this team, and we play very, very well today. You guys already know the deal. Life Orb Inteleon is an absolute beast. He's a great lead. He's a great back end Pokemon just all around. He's amazing. I also love everything about this team, like the Grim Snarl and the Rotom to control with the Will O' Wisp and T Waves. We had the Chandelure for the Imprisoned Trick Room. Then we had Super Luck, Tokus, and Guts Conquer to do some big damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.